Hi, in this video, we're gonna take a look at TCP, flow control and window size. Okay, TCP flow control means that TCP will help ensure that the sender is not overwhelmed, is not overwhelming the receiver by sending more packet segments than it can handle. It'd be like me talking too fast. If I'm talking too fast, I'm overwhelming you. Whoa, slow down. Or maybe you want me to speed up. Maybe that will, you know, so it's just getting, you know, making this, the flow, uh, the most efficient for both the sender and the receiver. So here I'm actually kind of showing a, a graphic on the left that the, the, the sender has a buffer and how much it can hold before it sends. But what it wants to do is not overwhelm the receiver, including the, the receiver's buffer, because it can only handle so much and it's got to process the information in that buffer. This is a great video that I like to show in class to, to demonstrate this you know, from the I Love Lucy show, Lucy and Ethel uh, working in the cho chocolate factory. So you may want to look at that in uh, YouTube. Very funny. Okay, shows you how old I am. All right. <clears throat> Windowing and flow control. Okay, so uh, TCP implements flow control by increasing and decreasing the window sizes as required. Window sizes are variable and can, can be modified during the lifetime of the connection. We'll see this here in a moment. So we can see the 16-bit window size right there. Okay, so window size, that's actually call it the receive window. And this will make more sense in the next couple of slides when I show you more information. The sending host can, the, 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 this, the sending host can send only the amount of data before getting acknowledgement. So let's, we'll see what this means in just a moment. There's also a send window. This is the, uh, the TCP window size of the other host. What is Rick talking about? We'll see in a moment. Let's do an example, actually. That's the best way to look at this. Okay, so the client says, my window size is 5 thousand meaning this is as many bytes that you can only send me five thousand bytes and then you got to stop and wait for an acknowledgement from me don't send me more than five thousand bytes until you've received an acknowledgement okay on the web server it says okay the client has a has a window size of five thousand i'm going to call that my send window it's not a tcp field it's basically the other side's window size, and I'm just keeping track of this, okay? That means I can only send 5,000 bytes without sending it, so uh, not to send it more than 5,000 bytes before um, receiving an acknowledgement from the other side. Now, the web server says, you know what? I have my own receive window. Mine's a little larger, so I'm going to tell the client not to send me more than 10,000 bytes uh, before re receiving an acknowledgement from me. Okay. So that will be on the client side, it's server send window. I mean, the send window of I can only send no more than 10,000 bytes before waiting for an acknowledgement. Okay. Let's see another example here. Okay, so here we have a client. It has a window size of 5,000 bytes. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. So the client window size is 5,000 bytes. The web server receives this and says, okay, my send window, okay, meaning this is, I can't send the client more than 5,000 bytes with, before wait, stopping and waiting for an acknowledgement. It says, okay, by the way, I'm gonna put my receive window at 10,000 bytes. But let's say it starts sending different TCP segments of 1,000 bytes each, we'll keep it nice and simple. So there's the first segment one th from one to 1,000, next segment 1,001 to 2,000, next segment 2,001 to 3,000, next segment 3,001 to 4,000, next segment 4,001 to 5,000. It says, oh, that, uh, that client had told me its window size is 5,000 bytes. I've got to stop and wait for an acknowledgement. Okay, the client's gonna send an acknowledgement Okay, and what do you think that acknowledgement will be? What will be in the acknowledgement field? The act flag will be set and the acknowledgement number will be set at, you've got it, 
5001. Remember, it, it's an expectational acknowledgement. What is the next byte it expects to receive? Okay. All right. Now this, the, the web server says, okay, my send window byte is now at 10,000. So I can send it up to byte number 10,000. So the sequence number is 5001, but there's a thousand bytes per segment. Remember the sequence number is the first, uh, is the number of the first byte in that segment. Okay. So it keeps on sending it, but it's got to stop when it reaches 10,000. And then now it waits for that acknowledgement from the client and expectational acknowledgement of 10,001. Okay. All right. And we continue. Okay, this is, by the way, in its uh, early form or without some of the other enhancements we'll talk about in a moment with sliding windows. This is known as a stop and wait windowing protocol, meaning the server must stop and wait for the acknowledgement before continuing to send data. Seems a little inefficient just like this with all this waiting happening. Okay, better method? Yeah, we'll take a look at it in the next video known as sliding windows.